We're headed to Peru, so I know I'll be hiking with my gear. I wanted to choose a bag that could fit all of my stuff, but wouldn't be too big for me. I chose the Lopro Flipside Sport. It's got a water compartment for when I'm hiking, and it seems pretty durable and easy. One thing I like is that you open it on the back, so you're never susceptible to have someone opening your bag and then having all of your stuff fall out. Um, I'm bringing the Sony 70 to 200. Got a mic here. This is the Rokinon 24 millimeter lens. This is the Sony 28 to 70. I've got the Sony A7R Mark II and I've got the Miticon uh, 0.95 f-stop 50 millimeter lens. Altogether, my pack comes to about 10 pounds, which isn't too bad. And there's a little bit of room left for a couple of snacks too. I hate the way most camera bags look. I wanted something that didn't look like a camera bag. This looks more like a World War II rucksack. It's a Langley Alpha Pro. Start with the big gear in the middle here. One downside of this bag I already see is that it's difficult to access your camera gear because it's all in the middle and it doesn't really fold open very well. This is the Canon 5DSR. Brand new 50 megapixel camera with the Sigma 24 to 105. That's kind of my favorite walking around lens. Super sharp, but super big and heavy. This is a great wide angle lens, very sharp. This Canon 16 to 35, also image stabilized, so it makes a good walking around lens. And because my camera does not record 4K, but we're gonna be recording 4K video, I have to bring a separate camera for that, the GH4 with the 14 to 140. And one of the downsides of this is that the eyepiece always pops off. We've lost a couple of these already. In the front here, I have a bunch of accessories. This is a little TLR lens case for my contact lenses because I'll end up taking those out over the next 25 hours or so that we'll be traveling. Glasses, headphones in there. These are Rode microphones that I can hook into our cell phones for us to record audio on the go. So we didn't have to bring a separate audio set, just use our phones for that. Here we have just a ton of snacks because we have a long, long trip ahead of us. Here is my USB case over here. I have some extra power to power up Chelsea's phone if need be. Extra batteries for my Android phone. In the top here, first my laptop, the Dell XPS 13, that's great for copying pictures to the computer to check them carefully and to back them up. Got a little Jobo spider thing, tripod. They don't let you bring tripods into Machu Picchu. Well, they will, but they'll charge you 300 bucks. So hopefully they'll let me bring that in without too much complaints. You can see I do have a nice way to carry a tripod down here and a big uh, carbon fiber travel tripod, but I won't be taking that in. Power supply for my laptop because I can charge it on the airplane with this Vagabond Mini. This is meant to power your strobes, uh, your studio lights when you're on the go, but I love using it just to power up my phone and my laptop because you know those laptop battery lives never live up to their claims. Other than that, ton of extra memory cards, extra batteries, especially for that Sony, and that's about it. Subscribe to see more from our trip from Peru. Give us a like and share with your friends. Thanks.